What is going on everyone, Elite Chris here, and today we are back on FS22 for another tutorial video. If you clicked on this video, that means you need help with cutting trees and grinding stumps, so uh, let's get right into it. Not waste anyone's time, I'm going to show you real quick in the store some of the tools you're going to need. I already have everything that we're going to demonstrate in the video already set up. But uh, the first thing you're going to need starting off more than likely is a chainsaw. Any of these four will do. They are all the same, just different brands. So whatever brand is your favorite, just pick it and buy it. And then you're also going to need a tractor, um, usually small to medium or your best choice. And you want to make sure it has the option for a, which this one doesn't. Let's find one that does. I know this one does. You want to make sure you find one that has the option for a front loader attach, uh, attachment, either the quickie or the Howard. And then you're going to need the front loader to go with it, which is under tools. And it will be right here, front loaders. And then again, your quickie or your hower. The best way to do this is to pick the horsepower down here that is closest to your tractor. And that's the one you buy for your tractor. As you can see, this one's 100. This one's 120. So whatever is closest to your tractor buy, it's just going to be the size of it based on the size of your tractor. It's like this one's going to have a taller uh, arm on it because it's a 180 horsepower tractor. Then if you have a John Deere, you obviously buy one of the John Deere ones, or you could do the Quickie or the Howard, it really doesn't matter. But if you want the John Deere set up, and then there's the Kloss one there for the 145 horsepower Kloss. Again, the Howard or the Quickie will work for the Kloss as well. Um, and then, yeah, that's what you're going to need for the front loader. And then front loader tools, you will need a log fork to pick up the trees. Yes, I am aware this is not part of cutting trees. I'm just kind of giving you a breakdown of what you're going to need to cut the trees and then pick them up if you want to pick them up and then sell them. Um, alternatively, you can buy the trailer, which is under the forestry equipment. One of these trailers has the crane on it already. Obviously, you're probably going to go with the Anderson one. It's a lot cheaper. Um, these are your stump grinders. Um, these are mulchers and stump grinders. This is just a stump grinder. I have all this one and this one to show you guys today. I have this. I may or may not show you that. I just have it out in the field so you can see it. We'll see how the video goes. Also, there's wood chippers if you want to get into wood chipping. Um, pretty self-explanatory stick a log in it and it'll chip it up and make wood chips um, If you want a wood chip tutorial, let me know in the comments and I will gladly make a wood chipping tutorial for you um, And then alternatively you can also buy a wheel loader if you want to pick up if you've got a lot of extra dough on And a little bit of extra cheddar then you can get some uh, Front loaders and then you would need a or a wheel loader and then you would need the wheel loader tools uh, same thing with a skid steer. There's a separate category for skid steer tools and then telehandler tools as well. Telehandlers do indeed have a log fork. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, telehandlers I usually avoid for forestry. Wheel loaders are if you're doing a big forestry operation and you need to pick up big bundles of wood, uh, the wheel loader grabber is great for that. And the front loader or the skid steer are great for just one log at a time or two logs at a time. But that's kind of a rundown of what you'll need for... Uh, picking up logs and cutting them. Also, before we get out of the menu and forestry machines in the vehicles category, there is a couple tree harvesters. This is the same thing as that trailer. It's just a, a self-propelled one or a drivable one that has the crane on the back to pick up logs. Each brand has its own. There's one there and then there's one here. And then there's a truck here. This is a wood chipper. And then this is the Raptor 300, which is just, um, it's basically meant for it, all it does is grind or mulch. It literally does nothing else. It's super expensive. But if you're a multimillionaire and you want to have like an OP forestry setup, then you would buy that. And then maybe that uh, forestry thing right here that I was talking about before, maybe that only goes on the Raptor. Yeah, it looks like that mine might only go on the Raptor. And then this one just yeah kind of goes on there. So I didn't use a wheel weight, but it'll go onto a tractor. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the... Uh, the store. Um, I got all the equipment over here. I also planted some trees to show you the different growth stages. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, these are just bought from the store and placed. Obviously, you're not going to make a lot of money if you do it that way, but you can plant these trees. These trees here all the way at the end. This is the fully grown one. Um, there also is a way to plant trees and then cut them like that. If you want a video on showing how to plant trees, I will gladly do that as well. Let me know. But yeah, these are some of the equipment. It's really loud. I have everything running. I don't know why I did that, but that's the uh, Komatsu uh, tree cutter, which I did not show you guys actually thinking of that. 
I never got to that in the forestry. But yeah, anyway, there's this one, the Komatsu, which is the one we have. There's the Cobra, which is the Ponzi version of Tree Cutter. And then there's the Rodine, the Tree Cutter here. This thing's pretty massive. And yeah, it's just three of the same exact thing, different prices. Um, yeah. So there's the Komatsu version of that. Here is a tractor with a front loader on it, and it also has the trailer on the back. That is the John Deere. I did not mean to jump into, but yeah, as you can see, you have to play around with your controls. You can see the uh, controls on the top of that help menu. Left click and up and down, kind of do that. And then right click does something. And then if you click them both, it kind of opens the arm. Takes a little getting used to, but uh, you can become a master of it with a little bit of practice. You can just whoop, grab a log, pick it up, go over, go into here, ungrab it, drop it in, keep doing that. We're not going to show you that. Now, um, here's the wheel loader. Again, same thing. You can pick. It's the controls are in the top left. You, if you're on console, it'll show you the console controls. Um, and yeah, there's uh, just different controls to pick this up. Obviously, as you can see, it's meant for uh, larger stacks. Um, this is the mulcher on the back here. I'll turn that off. That's what was making it kind of loud. That thing was over revving there because it was running that mulcher. And then this is your stump grinder on the back, which is just a stump grinder, which we will get into here very shortly. So let's get away from the loud machines real quick. These are, uh, this is the first growth stage of the trees. This is the second and third, and it kind of progresses. And then your fully matured trees will look like these two rows in the back. If you plant them, that's what they'll look like, just so you know in the future. But yeah, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering as well, um, if you go to a tree and cut it, it lets you cut it, but how come on some it won't let you cut? That is because you have to own the land to be able to cut trees. So if we come over here real quick. All right, now that we're at the tree, as you can see, I go to cut this. Uh, you do not have access to the land. The only way you can cut the tree is if you come in here, open your farmland, and then you would have to buy this for uh, $1.1 million. We'll just buy it really quick because you can sell it. And then there you go, you can cut it. So if you're trying to figure out how to cut trees and it won't let you, that is why, because you have to own the land in order to cut it. And then another note with this while we're looking at it, this tree cutter cannot cut these big trees. It can only cut these uh, pine type trees here. But make sure if you want to use this big uh, auto cutter here, the you use it on these pine trees because it won't work on any of these other trees. Yeah, I'll start off with showing you the chainsaw because it's pretty simple. You can cut, you can cut these small ones. I don't know why you would. As you can see, you can cut it and it just vanishes. Same thing with these, you can cut them. There it goes, timber. I don't know if you can cut these little ones or not. You used to not be able to, you might be able to now though. Now see, so you, oh, so you can cut them. These ones, same thing. Once it gets to this stage, you can start to cut them. Um, and then you would debranch it just by running your chainsaw up it like this better to do it like that instead of like this because if you go like this it's going to keep wanting to cut so it's best to line your blade up with it and just go right down the tree and that is how you would take the branches off it to make it easier to work with and then uh, for turning your chainsaw you just use the right click and move as you can see up there on the top left on console it'll tell you the hotkey for it um, on the top right of the controls menu as well and same thing with these trees, you can cut it down. And whichever way you end the cut, that's the way the tree is going to fall. If we would want it to fall that away, we'll just cut it like I go all the way as far sideways as I can. Crouch to get as low as you can. And then start cutting. Once you start cutting, you can let go of the crouch button. And then boom, it's going to fall that way. There you go. And then these are the big trees. We'll cut one of the big trees as well, and we'll just make it fall that away. Same thing. All the way to the right. Crouch, cut. And boom. It's going to fall that way. And down. You can also, if you don't want to buy a front loader, you could cut it and then just make little things like this and throw it in like a tipper trailer, and you can sell them like that. They're not going to be worth as much money, but you can do that. And then I'll show you the debranching. Pretty simple, just follow up this wavy tree, and that's all your branches gone. If you miss them, just come back, boop, easy. Um, and then now I'll show you this thing real quick. This thing is, these things are very nice, but uh, starting off, obviously it's not gonna be uh, 
ideal to buy one of these. You could lease it and then just cut a bunch of trees. But uh, you'll just hit uh, B to turn it on. And it's on now. And then you can change your cut length there, as you can see with Y. You can go all the way up to 8 meters with this. Um, we'll just cut them at 6. I kind of like cutting them at 6. That's a good size to work with. So uh, whatever you prefer for what you want to cut them to is totally up to you. Um, but all you do is once your har tree harvest is on, you just drive up to one of these fully grown trees. And you're going to press X to cut. And then it cuts it. And you kind of just pick it up. Kind of manhandle it. And then once you have it, do not press the turn off tree harvester. Make sure you press the cut button. And then because if you turn it off, it will drop it. So you want to make sure you keep it on. And then you can make a nice pile. And this is when you would come back in with your wheel loader and grab. Which I may attempt to show you. But as you can see, it removes the branches and everything. And cutting them at six, you get a nice little pile of trees. Sometimes it can be finicky to try to line it up right. But yeah, same thing. You just cut it. You're really good with these you can get really neat pile with these and it makes it really easy to lift with the wheel loader uh, but yeah that's how you use the tree harvesters they are very nice one of my favorite things in the game they're pretty cool the stump grinder and then we will get into using that to pick the logs up that way if anyone clicked on this forward stump grinder they don't have to wait too long so right here is our stump we're gonna lower this thing in the back and we're gonna turn it on as you can see, it starts to mulch the ground. So it's not only a stump grinder, but it is a mulcher. And as you can see, you just back up. And it just immediately erases anything in its path. So you can see it's just grinding up these logs. And we actually cause it to glitch out, which is kind of cool. You see right here, we kind of stretched that log out and broke it. We're just going to throw that over there. That's glitched. But yeah, that's how you remove the stumps. It's actually pretty easy. If you don't want to tear up the ground like this, I'll shut this machine off because it's extremely loud. And we'll also shut that off because we're done with that. You would come in with one of these guys. And let's find a, another stump to grind. Right here's a nice little stump. You're just going to turn it on. Make sure you have the stump grinder selected as your tool. Make sure when you're toggling through your stuff. And then you control it with your same controls you control your cranes with. As you can see, you just lower it down on it, and boom, it's gone. Very simple tool to use. Sometimes it takes a minute to find the sweet spot. There it was. See, sometimes the sweet spot's weird, so make sure you just play around with it. Once you start hearing that grinding sound and seeing the wood chips fly stop there, they, for some reason, have sweet spots in these sometimes that are kind of out of the hitbox, but uh, it's just a, a game thing. There's nothing you can really do about it. But yeah, that's how you cut trees and also grind stumps. And now I'm going to show you really quick uh, just how to kind of use these uh, tools real quick. We'll just go ahead and detach. And we're going to open this up. And just kind of scoop it up. And there you go. That's how you pick up a log with the front loader. And then you could load it into one of these trailers. There's another trailer that goes on a semi you could lower it into. You could lift it up. And you just loosen up your grip and boom, drop it right in. Same thing if you have the skid steer. I will show you the trailer really quick. Trailer I'm not very good with, unfortunately, so it might be a little painful to watch. I may skip ahead if I start to struggle. There's a bunch of controls for this. I'm not going to really go over the controls. If you bring up your help menu, you can kind of play with it. It's best to play with it before you start trying to pick up logs to get a good feel for it. And then drop it in there. Obviously, these are way too big for this. If you're going to use this trailer, you're going to cut it at like four meters. Maybe five. You can get it in there if you're good. If you're better than me at controlling cranes, you'll be able to get it in there a lot easier. There's the legs. So you just swap through everything. You can see there's a one and a two above the back tool. The two is the support legs. And you use your mouse or your uh, uh, joysticks if you're on console. And then that'll give you a little more stability. Basically, it's going to function the same way as the front loader for the tractor, except for this one is going to pick up more than one or two at a time. A nice big grab on these. There you go. As you see, you got a nice little grab of wood there. Um, the better you get with these, the more uh, fancy you can get picking up a bunch of logs at a time. And then all you would do... 
is you would get this trailer, not the trailer that I have. You would need the actual semi trailer. It makes it a lot better. This one right here. And then you can easily put logs in there. If you cut them at six meters, you can fit usually two, a stack here and a stack here. And that is pretty much going to be it, guys. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them um, as soon as possible. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I'm Elite Chris, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're going to take back everything.